Globally, seabird populations have declined by probably about 70% uh, just in the last 50 years. Just over a quarter of all seabirds are threatened. Uh, in the UK, we have our own particular set of problems. Uh, we're at the southern edge of the breeding range of many species, species like fulmar, gannet, uh, kittiwake and things like that. And that means with issues with climate change, a lot of these birds, their, their ranges are being pushed ever further north. We're starting to see losses for lots of these birds as a consequence. Cornwall. 20 years ago, we perhaps would have seen 13 sites that had kittiwake colonies. Uh, we've lost them from Land's End, we've lost them from Bozegren, uh, we've lost them from Mullion Island, we've lost them from Borden Rock. And now we're probably talking about five active kittiwake colonies in Cornwall. So from 13, 20 years ago, we're now down to five. And even now we're seeing colonies that are, are disappearing. The sad thing is, Kittiwake's disappeared from Nuki. So this year, they've had a complete breeding failure. And probably before they were even at the egg laying stage. It's a site that I know, it's a site I've recorded in the past. So I, I can picture what it was like as a, as a busy, bustling, loud, smelly seabird colony. And you look at it now and it's just this kind of shell of what it was. All the nest sites are still there, but there are no birds. It's incredibly depressing. I'm Mark Grantham. I'm a scientist, I'm a researcher, but above all, I love seabirds. <laughs> <laughs>